Hello guys! So this is the 8th part of our basic web development series. So in this part, we focus on learning about HTML layouts. So we have here yung sample ng isang layout or website layout. So meron tayong header part dito. Ito naman yung sidebar. And meron tayong content area dito at ito naman yung footer. So, this is yung mga basic structure ng isang website layout. Okay? So, we have here yung HTML layout elements. So, HTML5 offers new semantic elements that define the different parts of a web page. So, first we have the header. So, defines a header for a document or a section. Then, second, nav. Defines a container for navigation links. Then, we have the section, which defines a section in a document. Then, your article, which defines an independent self-contained article. Then, yung aside, which defines the content aside from the content, like a sidebar. Then, yung footer. Um, which defines a footer for a document or a sex section. Okay? So, basically, before, yung about mga HTML for something, um, yung ginagamit natin is div. Although, ginagamit pa rin na, naman natin ngayon yung div to specify yung mga layout container na meron. So, to specify the header noon, they just set yung ID attribute like setting it as the header id equals header parang ganun so para ma specify na yung div na yon or yung container na yon is intended for the header pero ngayong html5 na um it offers yung mga semantic elements na so ito na yon okay so ngayon yung gagawin natin Having this kind of layout, we're going to make a website something like this. Okay? So, following yung mga HTML semantic elements. And, of course, yung div gagamitin pa rin natin for the sake of container. Okay? Okay, so let's start here. Okay, so, dito natin lalagay. Lagay tayo ng div. So, this will serve as our container. So, lagyan ko siya ng class ng container. Then, lagay ako ng header. Then, yung aside or yung sidebar. Then, ano pa yung isa? Yung content area at footer. So, I'm going to use section. Pero, maglalagay ako ng section na content area then the last part was the footer okay save ngayon para magkaroon ng style we're going to use yung css yung so there are three type of css pala guys so we have the external css so ito yung ginagawa ko ngayon this is what we call the internal css and yung isa is tinatawag na inline CSS. So dito, I'm going to set muna yung container natin. Sabihin kong mayroon siyang 100, uh, 1,200 pixels na width. Yung height, sabihin kong for a uh, minimum lang. Minimum, mean height of Sabihin na natin 300 pixels. Then, I want it to make it center. So, lagyan ko ng margins. 0, auto. Then, gusto ko siyang lagyan ng background color at the moment. Para madali siyang makita na yellow. Okay. Um, let's try yung site. Kuna yung output. Okay, yan. Um, ngayon naman, um, manage natin yung header. So, 
um, if I'm trying, if we're trying to access using the class, we do this, the dot, then yung class name. But if we try to access the element itself, then the element name lang. Pagdating sa CSS. Okay guys, baka mag-wonder kayo, but ito may dot, ito wala. So that's the reason why. So yung weed will be one will be one hundred percent in which it will um based on the width of the container. Then yung height sabihin natin lagyan ko ng mean height na one hundred pixels. Then lagyan ko siya ng float mm, left. And also, before ako makalimutan ko, lahat ng element, lalagyan ko ng box sizing border box. Para, for those na magkakaroon ng weed sa kanilang element, yung mayayari, yung if ever maglalagay ako ng padding, it will not add to the actual weed of element. Like for example, Kung merong 1,200, then mag-add ako ng padding left and right ng 20 for the left and 20 for the right. So, it will be equal to 1 to 40. So, that will be the total width ng isang container. So, to avoid this one and to avoid this process or to avoid this result basically, na maging 1,200 lang, then we need to specify yung box sizing border box. Okay? Okay. Um, then, lagyan natin ng kulay para makita natin yung result niya. Background color, sabi natin blue. Save. Okay. So, next naman, Mm, kuha ko nito para lang madali tayo side naman yung lagyan natin ng style so lagyan ko lang sya ng 30% then yung height mm, sabi nating 300 pixels float left din sya yung kulay sabi natin green save refresh yan ah dito ba dapat mm, drop so may kulang um yung height mm, minimum yung height so ilagay natin ay overflow hidden para ma parang marap yung buong contain yung laman yan okay so the next is layayin ko to for the content area so since it is a class i need to use dot and class name then yung width will be 70 para total of 100 then width minimum height of 300 float then then merong background na sabi natin red and the refresh yan so yung kulang na lang is yung footer So, let me just copy the header part. So, yung footer. Okay, 100%. Minimum height of, sabihin kong, 50. Then, yung background color, sabihin natin, purple na lang. Okay. Refresh tayo. Okay. So, na implement na natin yung layout. So, lagyan naman natin ng mga content. So, let's start with the header. So, sabihin natin h1 yung gagamitin ko. Then, yung nakalagay na content is cities. So, if save, refresh. Yan. So, nasa kidid siya. So, I would like to put some spaces in between. Gusto ko lagyan ng padding. 30 pixels. Ang oh, mga 20 na lang. Okay. Then, 
gusto ko siyang center. So, I need to specify, look for the H1. Gusto ko maging center yung heading. So, sa header, mayroong H1. But, ganito yung process ko dito. It is because, what if yung H1 meron din sa content area dito. So, masasali siya if ganun lang yung gagamitin natin. So, to be specific kung saan H1 yung gusto natin lagyan ng style, then kaya naglagay tayo ng header. Header, so sa header, hahanapin yung H1. Ito. So, gusto kong maging center siya using the text align center. Then, gusto kong magkaroon ng kulay yung text niya as white. Then, yung font family naman niya, par, kasi para siyang, tingnan natin, para siyang Arial. So, pwede kong lagyan ng Arial. Save. Refresh. Okay. So, parang maliit. So, gusto pang palaki. So, I can change the font size. Let's say, gawin natin 40. Okay. Now, yung background color dito is parang gray. So, try natin. Inspect element tayo. Then, if hindi naka-select yung header, pwede nyo gamitin tong selector and select nyo lang yan. Header. Then, meron dito ang parang color picker. Click nyo lang yan, may lalabas. Then, select nyo yung kulay. Check natin dito. Uh, dark pa siya. Yan, okay na yan. Copy this code. Then, hex value. Then, i-replace natin dito sa header. Okay. Then, close natin to. Refresh. Yan, okay na. Next is Next is yung sidebar. So, yung sidebar, meron siyang link. O, pwede natin makonsider yan as nav. Then, lagay tayo ng A as anchor. Ano yung mga nakasulat? Mm, London, Paris, Tokyo. So, pwede kong lagyan ng London. Then, let me just copy this one. Paris. Tsaka... Tokyo. Okay. Ah, mali. Tokyo. Ayan. Then, refresh. Okay. Nandito siya sa taas. So, let me play some space muna sa loob. So, maglalagay ako ng padding. Sabihin natin 30. Refresh. Okay. So, gusto ko naman palakihin yung text. So, sa side, meron siyang anchor or link tag. Then, I want to change the font size. Sabihin kong hmm, 20 pixels. Try natin. Okay. So, ngayon naman, gusto ko siyang parang it, parang black element siya. So, display black. Refresh. Okay. So, I want to change the color to blue. Refresh. Okay. Ano pa yung kulang? So, kailangan yung kulay niya, yung background. So, pili na naman tayo ng gray. Hmm. Another shadow. Okay, yan. Then, copy the hex value. Place it here. Change this one. Save. Refresh. Close natin to. Okay. So, sa content area na tayo. Sa content area, anong meron? Merong London. Then, yung content niya. Hmm. So, let's say I use H2 here. Then, London. London. Then, yung content, I think I'm going to use Lorem Epsom na lang for demonstration purposes lang naman. Yan. Then, let me just copy those. Yung paragraph. 
save ko then refresh tayo yan so gusto ko rin magkaroon ng space dito so punta ko sa content area lagyan ko rin ng padding about 30 pixels rin save natin then refresh okay so merong yellow tayong nakikita dito na um Okay, parang malaki dito. So, let me just change yung yung padding tap. Sabihin natin meron lang 10 pixels. Save. Padding tap at bottom yun. 10 pixels lang. So, ngayon, we're going to change the background color. So, ano yung kulay dito? Lighter gray. Hmm, parang tama lang. Okay, let me just copy the code. And palitan natin dito. Yan. Hmm, refresh. Yan. Okay. So, actually lahat. Para siyang aerial, no? So, I guess, pwede ko na lang ilagay dito na lahat ng fan family will affect all element naman is area save refresh yan hmm. so yung minimum i-change ko lang muna para hindi makita yung background yellow nya so binit ng 400 then pagdating sa content area is also 400 refresh yan Okay, next is yung footer. Yung footer, ano yung content ng footer? So, meron lang siyang footer. So, lagay ko ng p-tag. Okay, lagay ko ng paragraph tag at lagyan ko ng footer. Okay, so, anong gagawin next? So, yung kulay ng footer basically is magkatulad lang sa header. So, I just want to copy the code here. And, palitan ko dito. Then, ngayon, yung paragraph sa footer, gusto kong ma-access. So, footer, P, element. Then, I want it to be center. Using the text align center. Then, I want to change its color to mm, white. Then, I want to change its font size. Sabihin natin, 18 pixels. Save. Refresh. Yan. So, lagyan din natin ang padding. Sabihin kong 20 pixels. Refresh. Yan. Hmm, parang malaki masyado. Palitin ko lang. Sabihin kong 10. Refresh. Refresh na. Okay na. So, okay. So, ito na yung layout natin. Um, kahit hindi masyadong na-follow yung mga style ng content, kahit pa paano, yung layout na follow natin. We have yung header, we have yung sidebar, we also have the content area, and we have the footer. Okay? So, that's how we manage yung basic structure ng isang website. Okay? So, proceed tayo. So, merong mga technique sa paggawa ng layout. Um, we have this. So, there are five different ways to create multi-column layouts. So, so first we have the HTML tables, but at the moment, hindi na siya masyadong recommended. It's because there are a lot of mobile devices nowadays that is capable already on accessing internet. So, kung may website kayo na intended na nakaga, naka, um, na develop using tables pa, then yung may nyari, if it will be tried to be browsed, yung may nyari is that Para siyang ma-squeeze na kung saan yung mga text hindi na masyadong nababasa. Maliit na kasi masyado. So, kaya nagkaroon ng mga pagbabago pagdating sa web development. So, in that case, kailangan yung mga website sa ngayon is from desktop version, intended na rin papunta sa mga mobile version. So, ito yung tinatawag na mobile responsive website. Okay? So, 
Okay, the next part is yung CSS load property in which ito yung ginamit natin ngayon. I use float left on managing my layout. Okay, then the next is yung CSS flexbox. So, this is one of the new features ng CSS3. So, pwede nyo magamit to in the part of creating multi-column layouts. Then, meron din mga CSS grids. So, there are 12 grid system or 16 grids. Sometimes, meron pang 8 grid system. So, meron mga ganun. So, the last one is yung CSS frameworks like yung Bootstrap, Foundation, and Materialize. Actually, there are other pa na mga um, CSS frameworks but ito lang yung mostly familiar ko. Okay, so, ang kinaganda kasi ng framework, mas mapapadali yung work mo pagdating sa development. There are a lot of features and designs, mga default designs na meron sila, mga styles, mga ganon. Mga, um, di ka na masyadong mag-hard code or mag-gumagawa na from scratch in terms of designing. So, only, the only thing na kailangan mong gawin is pag-aralan kung paano siya gamitin. So, the good thing is that, um, Intended na rin siya para makagawa ka ng website na mobile responsive. Okay? So, kindly check it out na lang guys. Okay? So, okay, okay natin yung layout natin. So, I think that's it guys. Um, you're okay for today. Um, I hope you learned something new today. Um, about how to make layouts. This is just simple layouts na ginawa natin. But of course, in the future, gagawa tayo ng mga mas magaganda pang mga website. So, just keep practicing. As I always say, practice ng practice lang tayo. Okay, so I think that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. And goodbye for now.